the instant I walked in this house. I felt love, the love in this house, the prayer that this home has been soaked in. And it's not just love from people, but it's the love of God that I felt. The Holy Spirit is, is here, and I feel him every time I walk in these doors. For Streets Alive, it's been a 15-year journey. The home itself is beautifully decorated, and intentionally so. Because they've never been exposed to something this nice. They've always been used to be having second hand. Some of them have slept on floors. Some of them have slept in sleeping bags in the coolies. And, and for them to, I remember one girl came in once and she went, I have my own comforter. And then she went, oh, I have my own bed. And she just started to cry. We have no idea the impact on somebody who is that broken to feel like they don't deserve a home like you and I. And they walk into this home and we work with them so that they understand they actually deserve this. Streets Alive stress that the building is not a shelter, but a place where these women have made the choice to stay sober. They're tired of feeling beat down by life, and they've just made that decision that as hard as it's going to be, it's harder out there. The women are placed in a three-step program and pay for room and board. Streets offers additional programming through a service called Genesis Connect from art journaling to uh, programming that includes learning to, you know, bound, healthy boundaries. All those kinds of classes make a difference. We have psychoeducational classes that happen here. And when it's all said and done, they learn how to be women. So, women of faith. For Bridge City News, I'm Ainsley O'Reilly.